Welcome everyone, today we have a very special Diablo 4 guide. And in this build guide, we'll be looking at Thorns Barbarian for level 100. Yes, as you guys can see behind me, I actually have a lot of information I want to share with you guys. I even built an Excel for the Thorns Barbarian to see exactly how much damage you can deal through different sources. And here we'll be looking at one of our previous videos when we tested in the service lamp. We're also looking to some of the choices of the skills and also key terms for the Thorns Barbarian and even more information about the Thorns Barbarian. Now, because this will be a highly theoretical build, because we don't have all the information for level 100, I'll try my best to show you guys what I mean by the pathing of the skill trees, the choices of the perks, the glyphs, and everything related to the Thorns build for the Barbarian. Now, because I have made Excel, what I want to do is, before we jump into everything that is available over here, I want to quickly go through the Excel with you guys, we'll come back to this at the end of the video as well. So here, what I did was, I want to see the uptime of Wrath of Berserker. And here, we'll be using Wrath of Berserker as one of a build for 60 second cooldown. So here, notice that we have about 50% downtime. So we can have a 21 second with Wrath of Berserker. We can extend this by 7.1 seconds with some of the triggers of the spells that provide us with more Berserker, and also with the passive of the Paragon levels. So those will, be, those will be ways to increase Berserking duration. Now in terms of the Thorn, let's have a look quickly over here. I'm estimating by level 100, we can get at least 5,000 Thorn. And this translates into 1.2 million damage with Thorn damage. Now do bear with me guys, this is a rough calculation and we don't have the game ready right. It will take a while to get to level 100 as well. And this also requires us to have one of the unique item, which is a chest. But that said, we can be trying kind of guessing the numbers, and yes, this is dynamic, so let's say if you're playing around with this build, and you can see that when you have 4,000 Thorn, likely you'll do about 1 million damage with this build. Now, again guys, this is all theoretical, because I'm not sure how exactly the multipliers will work with Thorn damage. Here I have done some research. So here, this is just a random website I found. And don't worry about the selling items, you don't, do not click those things, <laughs> those are bad. So here, what I found is, notice back in Diablo 3, sound damage is considered to be more physical damage, and this can be multiplied. But with Diablo 4, the translation is not that clear. So it's hard to tell how many of the damage multipliers will apply to Thorn. So ideally, if it doesn't apply to all the damage to Thorn over here, as you can see, then the build wouldn't work at all. So why would the Barbarian have this thing, right? Why would there be you know, unique items that provide us with Thorn? But if this multiplies correctly, then this is the number likely you'll see. And you're gonna see over here, I haven't even counted the additional damage we get from the gears, from the skills, and also other multipliers. And also I didn't count my legendary aspects. So over here, the rough calculation is based on the estimation of the thorn damage we have at the base level, and also the damage multipliers we get from the glyphs and also paragons to level 100. And as a quick summary, I'm not sure if we will get 1200 of the armor with 5 sockets, maybe we get 1000. As for the gears with armors, maybe we get 1,000. I'm just trying to make a lower summer, right? With elixirs, we know at level, you know, I think at the max level, you got 250 thorn. And there is one more item with incense. So just bear with me. Notice that on this website, let me see. So here is thorn. So there's, I was just looking for all the things we can get thorns on, right? So here, notice that there is a scent of the dessert afternoon, which provides us with more thorn, and this is a level 70 item. After further looking, it seems that we were not able to see this item in the beta, but after level 70, this might become available. So this is like a special party buff for the whole entire party. So this item is probably 250, and over here we have unique chest, which is probably, you know, 1000 for the thorn, because I've seen those numbers on the beta as well. So over here, with other sources of Thorn, it's hard to estimate. So I'm saying that roughly, we can deal about 5,000 damage with Thorn on the base level, and this will be multiplied in about 1.2 million. Now I know I did take a little time to talk about this, because unlike the other builds, the Thorn build can either be great or can be a disaster. So I do want to do some calculations before we heavily invest into this build. And if you guys do make the build work in the launch of the game, let me know as well please, because I'm really curious. I'm really tempted to play Barbarian just for this build. So if we come over to D4 Builds GG, I also realize this is a pretty good summary for us, so we're going to start with the summary of the build. For our build, we'll be using Flay to gain additional Thorn and also damage reduction. And we'll be using Whirlwind to be able to deal bleeding damage to enemies and also pull enemies together. We'll be using Wrath of Berserker to deal more Thorn damage, while we'll be dealing additional damage through Thorn with the Challenging Shout, which is one of our best offensive skills, AoE. 
and we'll be using Iron Skin to deal more damage while become defensive ourselves. And finally, we'll deal massive single target damage with Death Blow, which allows us to reset and also gains more Berserk. Now for the choices of the gems, this will be pretty straightforward. We'll be going with increased thorns for all the armors, and this will be essential. Other than that, we're going to have the increase the ultimate skill damage with Wrath of Berserker, and we can also have resistance to all the elements. As for the technique of the Barbarian, we'll be going with Poem. This allows us to have increased damage when we're healthy, and most of the time, we'll be very healthy. So now that we've briefly had a look at the skills, we will quickly talk about the skill trees over here as well. So what I'll do is I'll still show you guys the information over here in case you guys are wondering. So here we'll be going with the upgrade of Flay, which allows us to have increased thorn against enemies, stacking four times. So this can be up to 200 thorn because of this. Other than that, we'll go with Whirlwind, but notice that Whirlwind is only level 1. The goal of Whirlwind is actually coming through one of the legendary abilities, which allows us to pull enemies together with Whirlwind, which in return comes with another legendary ability, which allows us to spread thorn damage to all the enemies around us. Now over here, we also have some spare points. I'm going with one point into pressure point to cast vulnerability onto enemies. If you do find yourself short on vulnerability, you can cast more points into this as well. And as we keep going, the defense section is going to be our best friend. So here we'll be going up to all the perks that increase thorn damage. And over here we we'll have three levels of Orbist, which provide us with 60 thorn and also increased thorn for the maximum HP we have. And also over here we have increased thorn by 9% and also deal thorn damage as bleeding damage. Now because thorn damage is translated with maximum HP over here, what you can see over here is that we'll be going with 15% maximum HP. Now both of the shout and also iron skin over here will be offensive and also defensive. For the challenging shout, it's enough to go with level 1 I think, usually we don't take that much damage. So here with challenging shout level 1, we gain 40% damage reduction. So let me show you guys, if you go for level 2, you get 4 more percent damage reduction, the cooldown is still 25 seconds, so it's not that big a deal to me. We'll be going with upgrade to challenging shout, which provides us with maximum bonus HP which translates into Thorn, and here we'll be going with the Challenger Shell provide us with more Thorn with maximum HP. Now as for the Iron Skin, what you're going to see is we'll be going with Iron Skin that reduces damage, and this provides us with a barrier for 5 seconds. As we have the barrier, this will also allow us to have Fortify, reducing the damage we take. Now later on, as we look at the aspects and also legendaries, you're going to see that when we have barriers, we also deal increased damage. Now as we move over to the brawling section, you can see that I will be perking to skills that increase shout duration. Initially I was trying to go with two shouts, and this will be more beneficial. So yes, if you guys don't plan to go with iron skin, go with a second shot to provide with you with more movement speed and also more resource regen, it's not bad. And here you're going to have the increased shout duration, and also over here you can also provide shout for your allies. And this will also provide us with a bit of healing. So if you find yourself having too much healing, what you can do is you can unpack the healing and increase the vulnerabilities over here. Now because our ultimate is going to be Wrath of Berserker. So what we have is we'll have damage reduction with Berserking, and also we'll have the increased fury generation with Berserking. Again, it is not a big deal to have fury regeneration because most of our damage will be coming through a thumb ride. So if you guys do find yourself short on points, you can unpack those points over here as well. Now, as we come over to the Weapon Mastery, Death Blow will be added to level 5, and this will be one of the focus for our build. Now, because our Thorn damage have a very shortage of single target damage, Death Blow will do a massive 168% damage in front of us. And over here, this skill also does double damage against bosses. And when we kill enemies with Death Blow, this also extends and also gain Berserk for 3 more seconds. So one thing to notice over here, we have a 42% Berserk duration increase. So the 3 seconds over here becomes pretty much 5 seconds. Now because we can deal bleeding damage through Thorn, we can also slow enemies with bleeding damage. And over here we also have Pit Fighter to increase our damage and also reduce damage taken. And also provide more damage against injured enemies. And because we have a lot of Fortify and we'll be taking lots of damage, so Fortify when we take damage is good, and also more damage when we have Fortify is also really good. Finally, coming over to the ultimate, we'll be going with Wrath of Berserker, which allows us to do more damage, increase movement speed, become unstoppable, and also extend the duration of Wrath of Berserker and also increase more damage. So this is a pretty good combination. And here for the ultimate of the perks, we'll also go with increased maximum duration of the Berserker by 5 seconds, and increases damage by 25%. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, it is a really good time to do so, because I'll be covering tons of Diablo 4 related topics and also videos and also guides. 
We'll be looking to the top meta builds, non-meta builds, leveling up, and also Paragon tricks. We'll also look into the latest events and also official updates, and also changes to different characters and also different builds in the game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn the notification on, because a lot of you who are watching the videos have not subscribed. You can see 80% of the viewers who are watching our videos have not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the latest update for Diablo 4. Now as we move over to the choice of legendaries, what you're going to see is, well, there's a lot of good legendaries and you can see how I have selected additional legendaries. Now there's only one unique item that you really want for this build and this unique item is a universal item. So I do believe all the class can have this item. So if you do find this item on other classes, you can then give this one to your barbarian. This will be really good, right? So this is Razor Plate Chest and this one will provide at least 1000 thorn, I believe, back in the beta. And this will be very powerful. So if you guys remember the calculation, this is one of the major source of getting more thorns in the game. Now briefly going through the legendaries over here, for the two-handed, I'm getting more thorn while berserking. And this is one of the reasons I'm going with Berserker. So this can be even multiplied by another 100% because it's on a two-hand weapon. And this will be a major source of damage. Now on the second two-hand, I'm thinking that we can deal more damage or we can have thorns to be spreading around. So here I decided to put the thorn damage to be dealing AOE damage on the on the amulet, so which is about 50% bonus. But if we put this on the two-hand weapon, this will be 100% bonus. So this will be about 80% chance of spreading thorn damage. But on the other hand, if we have when you have a barrier, you deal 50% more damage, this can be really good as well. So again, guys, it's really up to you which of the combination you want. You can have more thorn AOE or you can have the increase of damage. Now as we keep going, there's going to be a lot of weapons to pick from, right? So here, what I'm going to show you guys is, we'll be dealing more damage by standing still. And this is one of the best ways. Because this build, we don't have to do much. We stand still, we let enemies take damage, we just kill them. And if you guys are not sure, if you haven't seen the Thorn build, so back over here, I'll quickly show you guys. This is pretty fun. So most of the time, you just stand still, and enemies will kill themselves against you, right? So here, I'll just quickly show you. So if you haven't seen that video, it still works in the server slam, and it still works in the beta. So most enemies, you just stand still. When you stand still, they die next to you. Now, as we keep going, we're actually going to go with one of the resource legendary aspects, which I really get. So here, a major source of damage, which amplifies the damage by like, you know, 60 or 80 percent, is the challenge shot, which is at a 25 second cooldown. So what we want to do is we want to reduce the shot cooldown. And this item is pretty much essential. So this can reduce the shot cooldown by 5.4 seconds per enemy. So when you have four enemies, Challenging Shot is on no cooldown, and this allows you to give yourself 60% or 80% more thorn constantly. Actually, I just realized the maximum is 12 seconds reduction on cooldown, but that's still okay. So if we reduce the cooldown by 12 seconds over here, so notice this is a 25 second cooldown, reduce this one by 12 seconds, we're looking at a 13 second cooldown, and the duration is 6 seconds. So we still have a sec 7 second downtime. <laughs> I just realized, I was like, wait, this will be too good to be true, right? Then this thing says 12 seconds. Now as for our one-hand weapon, we'll be going with increased base skill attack speed by 30%. So in case you guys are wondering, you want to attack as fast as you can for the four stacks of Flay, which provides you with 200 more thorn and also damage reduction. And while you're attacking with your base spell, notice over here with Wrath of Berserker, when you actually deal damage with basic skills, you'll grant Berserk for 5 more seconds. So it's very important to attack fast to get the stacks of Wrath of Berserker and also to get more stack of thorn. Now for our second one-hand weapon of choice, we can go with this one, which allows Whirlwind to spawn another Ancient, which allows it to perform the same skill. So this is not the biggest thing, because I'm using the Whirlwind, this can be really fun to play with, but of course you can try any legendary sound over here, and any uniques over here, this can be really good as well. So this one's definitely optional. Now coming over to the helmet, I decided to go with damage in these providers with a shield. So this shield will last for 10 seconds, while the iron skin shield will last us for about 5 seconds. And together, what we're trying to do is we'll provide ourselves constantly with a barrier or a shield, and this will allow us to do more damage. But if you're not using the shield build, you can change this a little bit. Now we talk about the chest, this one's pretty straightforward. You want this one for the more thorn damage. As for the gloves, because my core spell is you know, targeted as whirlwind. I want to pull enemies together. And when they're put together, and when one of them hits me, everyone takes my thorn damage. So this allows the thorn damage to be multiplied multiple times when you pull enemies together with whirlwind. Now because we'll be using Wrath of Berserker a lot of the times, so having the the 
bonus that one way unstoppable will gain movement speed is going to be really good. And this allows us to move out of danger as well and also provide us with super fast mobility. Finally, as for the pants, I really like this kind of, you know, legendaries which allows us to heal. And this will keep us topped up. And this will also provide us with additional healing and also additional defense capacities and more damage when we're healthy because we want to be over 80% life and deal more damage. Now finally, coming over to a choice of Paragon levels. Now similar to previously guys, I'm trying to perk as much bonus damage as I can for the build. So notice over here when I'm trying to perk into bonus damage where enemies are bleeding, which they will be bleeding with our build, I'm trying to perk there when enemy that close will take more damage. And hopefully those multipliers works correctly as a calculation over here to do more damage for us, to do over 1 million damage. So starting with the Paragon level, we'll still take the right hand side, even though the left hand side provides us bonus life. But I do think the bonus attack over here, the bonus physical damage works on the Thorn. And I do think this is scaling better than the bonus HP which translates into more Thorn. But if you do find yourself getting more bonus HP, this can deal more damage as well. And for our first glyph, we'll provide more damage when we're berserking. Because we'll use Wrath of Berserk a lot, we also have the reduction to damage. Over here, we can easily get 70 strength, which allows us to get a lot more damage with Berserking, so over 206% totally over here. And if we move over to the second board, this is the only legendary I think we can be going for the Thorns build. Most of the other legendary perks did not that strong, and we won't be using Fury, we won't be doing any of that, right? So this build is pretty strange and pretty special. So on the first board we have, we'll be killing enemies who are bleeding, which they're always bleeding with Thorns build, and when we kill them, we have a chance of getting the increase of Berserk duration. And this is quite important. This is one of the sources we get 7.1 duration because of this. And one of the reasons is over here, we have the 42% increased Berserk duration. So because Thorn will make enemies bleed, you always have a lot of chance of getting Berserk duration and deals more damage. Now for this whole board, we'll be dealing more damage while berserking, dealing damage to elites, and also dealing damage when they're bleeding. So the theme of the game is to boost the damage we have. Now the first cliff of choice I decided to go with is to boost the rare loss damage by another 192%, and this will also increase the damage enemy take when they take thorn damage up to 8%. So here we have increase of bleeding damage by another 58%, and here we have damage reduction by another 23%. And there's some really nice perks over here to allow us to be very durable. Now one thing to note for this Paragon board, because we'll be pathing on both sides, if you find yourself to be more favorable on one side, you can go for one side. And notice that I'm trying to perk into 5 boards over here, because we're not going for a lot of legendaries, and we want to benefit as much as we can from the glyphs. So if we come over to the second board, you can see that I'll be providing myself with close damage, a close target damage. And if we look closely, we get about 94% close range target. And this was really good because the dexterity over here is 49%. We're also be providing ourselves with additional physical damage and also more damage over here. Now, if you guys remember earlier, our technique will be using a poem. So coming over here to the third or the fourth board, depending on how you path it. So if you're using a poem, you can deal tremendous damage up to a lot of percentage. I'm not sure if this says, or it says, so 108% more damage when using a poem. And this is the best glyph over here on this section. While having the poem, we also have 75 strength in this grid. And this also provides us with more damage while berserking and also more damage reduction to close enemies. Now what you guys can see over here is we also have lots of bonus damage and also bonus berserk damage and also duration. Now this board is actually not bad for additional berserk damage and also duration and can see elites. But the downside is we need a little more points to get over here and we don't really need a critical strike. I don't know if we can critical strike with Thorn and we don't really need attack speed. So I didn't go for this part, but rather I saved the points to go further over here. So briefly talking about the next board, what you're going to see is we'll be dealing more damage against bleeding targets. And let's have a look at this. We do about 70% more damage against bleeding targets. And this is one of the numbers I had over here, as you guys can see. So here the glyph is not bad. 49, 49 dexterity on this grid. And we can also provide ourselves with more damage reduction when we're healthy. This is actually one of the reasons I decided to go with the healing pants because we want to be healthy, right? Now we don't really need the overpower damage, so I didn't go for this side over here. And as we move over to the final board, yes, we got five boards over here. We really want to stay healthy, because here you can see when you're healthy, you get another 86.5% more damage. And while we're at this board, we can also gain armor, we gain strength, we also gain physical damage increase, which is also really good. 
Now you guys can tell we're going a little quicker on the Paragon board simply because there isn't that many options to path path into the thorn. I did have a look at all the boards. You can tell I spent a lot of time looking at everything, right? So everything that's related to thorn, I want to have a look. So ideally, I think those would be the five best boards for the thorn build. And I think we have a pretty solid build. So, so let me know what you guys think. It is definitely a theory crafting build, but I do try to do the calculations as well. And if you guys do want this calculator, just to see how much thorn you can deal, this is a very rough estimation. I did not count the item coming from the skills, gears, or the base multipliers. I didn't count the legendary aspects. So this just counted the paragons and also glyphs. And again, guys, it is possible I made some mistakes with the calculation, but if you want to try it out, you can try it out. So I also have this Excel available for you guys if you want to try the testing of the thorn build calculation. Now, before we finish the video, let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this build? Oh, boy. It took me like a whole day to do this. Just with the research, the summaries, looking at everything that's available, even making Excel, right? It took me a while to do this as well. And I'm excited for Barbarian, and I really want to make this work. So right now, about 65% chance I want to play Barbarian. The other 35% chance I'm maybe playing Necromancer. So I'm still on the edge. So I'm deciding my builds as I craft the builds for you guys as well. Now before you go, and if you guys didn't know, we have a new YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check out the behind the scenes and also fun clips and also more stories about us. And then you get to know me a little more personally instead of just reading the news and also the games, right? So I want to share a little bit more with you guys. So make sure you check this channel out if you're interested about Matt and also Uni. She's really funny too. And she's really shy. So I want to give her a surprise and do a shout out for the new channel to get some subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.